welcome to the Model Kindergarten Classroom Virtual Tour, presented by Alessi Group, in collaboration with the Arizona Department of Education and supported by Virginia G. Piper Charitable Foundation. The Model Kindergarten Classroom is designed specifically as an opportunity for professional development. It is a place where teachers can engage within the environment so that they can obtain a deeper understanding of how an environment such as this one can create real and meaningful opportunities for learning. The Model Kindergarten Classroom is designed in a way that is supported by evidence-based research, particularly brain development research. It is intentionally designed to support the whole child. Supporting the whole child includes their cognitive development, physical development, social and emotional development, their language and communication skills, and their approaches to learning. Becoming a careful observer within the context of their experiences, with an in-depth understanding of child development and the progression of skills, the Kindergarten Developmental Inventory will offer support to teachers in best supporting individual needs. It will help teachers be able to plan effectively to support continued growth and development. This virtual tour is simply a snapshot of the kindergarten classroom. Subsequent videos will focus on specific learning areas of the room in greater detail. We invite you to visit this kindergarten classroom to get the truest experience of the intentionally designed areas and the materials offered to children. An intentionally designed welcome area helps children transition from home to school. This transition can be challenging for some children, particularly at the beginning of a school year. As children arrive each day, it is the teacher's opportunity to set the stage, to let them know that this is a safe place, a place where they belong, a place where we care about one another, and that we look forward to seeing them each and every day. Messages of safety are conveyed when we understand and respond accordingly to children's emotional needs. They need to feel an authentic connection to their teacher and to their classroom community. Warmly greeting each child by name and incorporating rituals for transition, such as having children sign in and formally greeting one another is a way to help them feel safe and help them feel a sense of belonging. When we ensure that children have a space for their belongings and we post photographs and their names throughout the classroom, it helps them develop a stronger sense of belonging. This is their space, this is their room to grow and learn. The whole group area provides an incredible opportunity for collaborative group experiences. It is a perfect space to have rich discussions about classroom activities, children's discoveries, and reflections of their learning. It is a space to enjoy the magical experience of reading a good book together or to discuss a topic they're interested in investigating. Teacher-guided lessons that encourage children to work in pairs or small groups to figure out a solution to relevant problems allow children to not only think critically but practice communicating effectively and listening intently, both important school and lifelong skills. When not in use by the whole group, the open space is great for independent work or small group work. A one-person place that we call a safe place is a space within the classroom where children can retreat to when they might feel overwhelmed, sad, or frustrated. This practice helps them become aware of their strong emotions and provides a safe space for them to begin to learn to regulate those emotions. It is important to mention that developing true self-regulation, however, does require the support of a loving, emotionally responsive adult. The creative arts area promotes the development of many foundational skills. First, it is one of the most effective areas to support fine motor development as it strengthens the muscles necessary for writing. Developmentally, young children need a great deal of practice perfecting their fine motor skills, not with pencils necessarily, but with paint brushes, Play-Doh, scissors, and beading. When children are given real art tools to create from their imagination, rather than given a prescribed craft, 
they are developing skills for thinking creatively and developing healthy risk-taking, both of which are important foundational skills for creative writing and problem-solving. Included in the creative arts area is a woodworking bench where children have the opportunity to construct or deconstruct. It is actually a very effective way to support the development of self-regulation skills. The publishing and literacy area is well stocked with an array of writing materials and tools. There are books, puppets, and a variety of games that support oral language development. This area can serve as a place for a teacher to conduct small group work or for independent work or even a group task such as reproducing favorite books, writing in journals, retelling stories with new endings, or researching information for a project topic or they can simply enjoy reading a few of the many, many books available to them. The interactive word wall is an area that is commonly seen in kindergarten classrooms. This word wall is a compilation of words introduced by the teacher and or discovered by children. Everyone in the classroom may contribute to the word wall. Although many kindergarten classrooms have word walls, this word wall is interactive where the words are magnetic and the children are encouraged to pull them down to use them as needed. The science area includes a variety of materials that promote inquiry and discovery. When children engage in exploratory science experiences, important inquiry skills are fostered. Providing real and relevant experiences where the intent is to explore materials, objects and events by acting upon them and then noticing what happens can become an incredible platform for engaging children in critical thinking. Encouraging children to ask questions and to wonder helps to propel their natural curiosities into the process of in-depth exploration and discovery. It is important that teachers understand the types of questions that promote critical thinking. As children are trying to make sense of their world, teachers help them by learning to gather ideas, engage in make-meaning discussions, and even use journaling as well as technology to document their learning. What a powerful foundation for lifelong learning. Sand and water exploration is a multi-sensory experience that can provide incredible opportunities for children to grasp an array of mathematical and scientific concepts. When teachers integrate the use of sand and water exploration in thoughtful and intentional ways, it increases the likelihood that sustained learning will occur. Water and sand are universal experiences for children. Their prior knowledge and understanding creates a wonderful opportunity for children to pose questions, to solve problems, and to make deeper connections. The math area includes an array of materials that promote open-ended mathematical discovery. There are also opportunities that encourage children to solve specific problems so that they will develop a deeper understanding of mathematical concepts and ideas. In order to develop number sense, for example, children need concrete materials to explore and opportunities to engage with mathematical concepts. Building number sense is not a quick process. Young children require in-depth, meaningful tasks over a long period of time to establish a sophisticated understanding of numbers. Having a math learning area is an effective way to provide opportunities for practice to kindergartners on a regular basis. The block area is incredibly beneficial to the young learner as important foundational skills are practiced and strengthened in this area. The process of building and constructing invites both opportunities for mathematical and scientific reasoning. Physical science as well as mathematical concepts including comparison, number, symmetry, balance, and measurement are all strengthened as children explore with blocks and block accessories. Children also bring their ideas to life when building with blocks, and in this process they demonstrate their learning. This is strengthened when children are encouraged to work with their peers. They learn how to articulate their ideas, problem solve in the spirit of collaboration, and engage in meaningful conversations about their work.
As in all areas of the classroom, the intentional use of language by the teacher is an instructional strategy that strengthens children's language and literacy development. By integrating complex language within the context of their experiences, children are able to make meaningful connections between their experiences and the language being used. Likewise, block exploration is a perfect activity for engaging children in problem solving and deep critical thinking. By posing open-ended questions where children have to think hard about their responses, The socio-dramatic play area provides a forum for children to engage in roles, oftentimes familiar to them with a different voice. They take on the role of mother, father, barista, vet, doctor, or bank teller. And in doing so, they play with language that is more sophisticated than the language they may use day to day. This practice of using adult language strengthens their foundation in oral language development, which in turn is the foundation for literacy development. In addition to the incredible language opportunities that occur in the dramatic play area, children learn to make sense of their world as they assume various roles. They learn to express their feelings and thoughts and begin to gain a deeper understanding of who they are. They develop complex social and higher order thinking skills as they act out stories and themes. Engaging in this way requires that children practice negotiation skills, balancing their own needs with the needs of others, transferring their knowledge and understanding from one situation to another, developing a plan and acting on it, and synthesizing an array of information. Likewise, when children are provided with the opportunity to invent scenes and stories, their motivation comes from within, which is a powerful message of pursuing their own ideas. We hope you've enjoyed our tour of our model kindergarten classroom. Please contact us at www.thekindergartenexperience.com if you'd like to schedule a tour or if you'd like to have professional development at your district and or school.